Tip of the day, never litter anything in the beach as well as the ocean. Try to help clean any trash from the oceans, such as the Atlantic and the Pacific. Glass bottles, metal cans, paper of any kind, plastic bottles, plastic bags, plastic straws, and other types of trash harm the marine life, according to Martha Kurdick, a marine biologist. Try to help save crabs, whales, sharks, and even different species of fish by pitching in and cleaning our oceans, beaches, forests, and rivers. Darn Pixler and friends will continue on, even when Tails Landium Gardens and Delisian Siemens has made the switch from their main channel to our Velo Breeze animation, per Ella from K9.5 Popular Wishes. Enjoy the show while it lasts. <laughs> Good morning everybody, on behalf of Mrs. Reese Cade. I'm your substitute teacher, Ms. Little, who will teach next semester. I don't know where Mrs. Mundy went, but your voice sounds like me, Christina Grimmie, along with everybody else. Quiet down. You have to raise your hand before you speak. Like Mrs. Mundy tells me, first things first. When I call your name, say you're here. Usually I'll do that, but instead, Ms. Little will take it from here. Okay, Mrs. Reese Cade. Now, let me call your name, and when I say it, you say you are here. Xenon. Here. Roy Raccoon. Here. Mau Mau. What's up, Leslie? <coughs> Mau Mau, that's absolutely not okay. You don't talk to a teacher like that. That will go into the list of notes to tell the caregiver. Dang it. A solution is a value we can put in place of a variable, such as x, that makes the equation true. PSST, Xenon, let's switch seats so I can sit next to Roy Acom. No, we're going to get in trouble. Leslie won't find out. Fine, we'll do it anyway. You might like to practice solving some animated equations. Hey Roy Raycon, did you watch the season 5 finale of Talking Tom and Friends on YouTube? Hold on a second while I deal with Mau Mau again. Oh no. You again, Mau Mau? Talking when I'm teaching about equations? Are you supposed to sit next to Roy Raccoon? Uh, uh, well... Mau Mau made me do it. It's not my fault. It's his. Xenon, get back to your own seat. Mau Mau, go back to your own seat and don't do that again. That's another note added to the list. Dang it again. Could this day get any worse? There is no one perfect way to solve all equations. A useful goal, but we often get success when our goal is to end up with x equals something. In other words, we want to move everything except x, or whatever name the variable has, over to the right hand side. Roy Raccoon, what is 3x minus 6? It's 9. Yes, Roy Raccoon, 9 is correct. Step 1, start with 3x minus 6 equals 9. Step 2, add 6 to both sides, 3x equals 9 plus 6. And step 3, divide by 3, x equals 9 plus 6, divided by 3. Now we have x equals something, and a short calculation reveals that x equals 5. 
I want all of you to enter that into your calculators right now. Come on. How come Roy Raycom answered the previous question and not me? My, my, Mrs. Mundy is not here because of her teeth and jaw that are affecting her right now. So Miss Little, our substitute teacher, is going to do it the way that works for her. I came to this class for a reason, Mrs. Reese said. Shish. Shush the sheesh. But that's okay, you can answer the next question whenever she calls on you. Like a puzzle, in fact, solving an equation is just like solving a puzzle. And like puzzles, there are things we can and cannot do. Here are some things we can do, add or subtract the same value from both sides, clear out any fractions by multiplying every term by the bottom parts, divide every term by the same non-zero value, combine like terms, factoring, expanding, which is the opposite of factoring, may also help, recognizing a pattern, such as the difference of squares, and sometimes we can apply a function to both sides, for example, square both sides. Here's another example, solve square root, x divided by 2, equals 3. Do that problem on your calculators right now. A few minutes later. Step 1, start with, square root, x divided by 2, equals 3. Step 2, square both sides, x divided by 2 equals 32. Step 3, calculate 32 equals 9 x divided by 2 equals 9. And step 4, multiply both sides by 2 and what do you get? Mau Mau? Mau Mau, make a smart decision. Diamond Leaf, don't encourage him. Mau Mau, give me the answer. Is it x equals 18? x equals 18 is correct, Mau Mau. And the more tricks and techniques you learn the better you will get. Thanks, Leslie and Lithy, and on top of that, I'll be good for the rest of the day and won't cause any more trouble, even in the rest of my classes. I'm impressed, Mom. In that case, Miss Little won't give you another note to add to her care driver notes list. On a side note, you sure call me, as well as the substitute teacher, by our first names, as well as other staff all around the campus. Serena Murphy and Leanne Rhymes, your care drivers, who also teach here, told me in your conference meeting that you do that all the time. See, I told you I could answer a math question. That's right. Now now, always be good to the substitute teacher. Darren, don't encourage him to. Sorry. And speaking of sorry, we are sorry this video is a day or two late, but we hope to get back on track tomorrow. In other words, you've been very patient. Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far, don't know how. I Remember to follow your dreams and wait for Darren Hipster's disappearance.